So one of the first things that I think you should do once you have installed WordPress onto your website um, is that you should change your profile. You should change the, you know, kind of some of the settings or some of the information within your profile. One of the main thing that I want you to change is is your password. You can change other things as well, but one of the first things that I want you to do is that you have a default password when you log in when they give it to you. You should probably change that. You should probably change that to something that is uh, more relevant to something you will remember and also something that um, you know isn't just a default one, right? In case that information gets placed into the wrong hands. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to log into our dashboard and we're going to what we're going to see is we're going to see this all users or users portion. We're going to click all users um, or you can click your profile. And so you should only have one user actually in yours. I, I've been testing some things out, um, and so I wanted to show you guys. What you'll have is just your one original administrator user. He's going to click Edit, and that's going to show this profile right here. And so, you know, there's many different options. You can change simple things like, um, you know, the, the color scheme or the visual editor. You can change that when writing. Um, those things you should just leave as the default. They're really not that important. Um, keyboard shortcuts. You can you can um, add that you don't have to toolbar you know that type of thing um, leave that as well it's gonna be fairly beneficial. But one thing that I want to mention is that your username you can you can't change right. If you want to have a different username, you actually have to add a new user right. And I'll show you later how to actually add new users. For now, it's not gonna be important for us to do. We just want to change our own profile. First name, last name. Um, they can be pseudo names. It doesn't have to be technically real. It could be whatever you want it to be or just your, your actual name, your nickname as well. And you can display what your name should be. You know, do you want to be last name, first name, first name, last name, just your first name, things like that, right? What, is you, what do you actually want it to show up as, for example, um, we have Eric Thomas. We have actually first name, uh, last name, but this is just our, our nickname, actually. Our nickname is what shows up um, a, as the author of each post, right? And so the contact info, your email, same thing as what you registered with. You can put in your website. For example, this is more though if you have additional users, right? If you have additional users, they're going to have different websites that they can click on, things like that. For us, it, this is our website. It's the, it's, you're the administrator, so you it's, probably can just leave that blank or you can just fill it in. Google Plus, this is going to be your Google Plus profile URL. Um, and you can just add that in. It's just going to be, um, you're just going to click on your, your own Google Plus profile account and just paste that in and have some numbers as your actual distinguishing factor. So you're about yourself, you can add this in here. Um, but what I really want you to change is just a password. And what, whatever it is, you know, it should be considered a strong password. I think, especially if you're an administrator, you should have a strong password. For example, very weak password, not necessarily going to be beneficial, potential for hacking in the future. And all these right here, you probably won't see right now, which is simply because you haven't installed your theme yet, if you're using our course at least. Uh, so I won't really talk about those. Um, and even these, the author archive settings, you may or may not see them. But pretty much you can add something in. So you can add a custom archive headline. And so archive, you can think of it like this. When the user sees um, you have multiple authors, when they click on you, it's kind of like a little mini about page. But really what it shows is the past post, your past post if you have multiple authors and so you can have a little description underneath it this is a little bit about me especially if you have multiple authors that's where it would be beneficial and you can enable an author box things like that um, and yeah these are more specific for your actual I would say the actual theme so that's why I'm not going to go into actually adding uh, information right here uh, but yeah, you can have a default setting and things like that and that's really specific for your theme and since we haven't actually talked about those things, that's not something that I really want to get into because it may be slightly confusing. But yeah, the main thing that I wanted to show you is actually how do you change your password because generally the passwords they give you are going to be just a uh, robot generated password and you're never going to remember that. It's not going to be useful for you. Um, so yeah, that's the main thing that I 